got a great guest today. Joining me in the studio today is Philip Calvert. He's an international speaker and author and also a LinkedIn strategist as well. Philip, it's lovely to have you with us today. Thank you for joining us on the program. For those that don't know anything about you, you go around the world talking about LinkedIn. When you go into businesses, what's the biggest mistake do you think people make with LinkedIn? Uh, it's really simple. They don't know why they're on LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a job, then that's pretty clear why you might be on LinkedIn. But wherever I go, every audience I speak to, when I say, put your hands up if you know if you're on LinkedIn, everyone puts their hands up. Uh, then I say, now put your hands up if you know why you're on LinkedIn, and people go, not really quite sure. So it, you've got to know why you're on there. And like most, most people go onto LinkedIn on a daily basis, and there's a certain amount of dabbling around. Um, have a look, see if there's any connection requests. Um, maybe somebody liked your last, last status update, um, might comment on something, and it's all a bit woolly. Um, but as soon as you've got a clear view of why you're on LinkedIn, then it all comes to life. I mean, we, we look at social media platforms and we look right across the board at social media platforms. And of course, they've got this built in addiction to them. Yep. We're all looking for the likes. We've got this vanity of numbers that we see all the time. I, is it better to be more precise, laser like in what you're trying to do with it as opposed to be a broad brush? It depends why you're there. If you are a professional networker, for want of a better phrase, LinkedIn uh, is a great place to kill time, but to fulfill <laughs> what you... Or waste time. Yeah, waste time, <laughs> fulfill time, or to achieve what you set out to do, to help out other people. Lots of people forget that the really best networkers are the people who are, are in it for everybody else. They're not in it for themselves. They're there to help other people, to make connections for people, to introduce them to other people. So if that's the bracket you're in, then LinkedIn is, is fun and incredibly valuable for you. Um, if you're looking for a job, then there's all sorts of tools that you can use and there's all sorts of help and advice to help make sure that you look the part. I, mean, I think it's really important that everybody remembers that whatever you do, whatever your role is, whether you're self-employed or you're the chief executive of a global organisation, if you're on LinkedIn, you're marketing yourself. In one way, shape or another, you're marketing yourself. And if you are not receiving inquiries for your services or your advice or your expertise out of the blue from complete strangers, then you're not marketing yourself as well as you should do. So when you say that, where does it start? It, does it start, because we've had people like um, James Potter on here, the, the, the LinkedIn man, and, and we've had Steve Mills who's talked about setting up your profile. Is, is the profile where you start? Are the words what's important there? John Nemo, who does a number of books that you can download on, on LinkedIn, he says it's that first line in your profile that is so important. Yeah, it's um, like anything, it, the, your copywriting is really important. And, you know, very few of us profess to be expert copywriters. It's always said, you know, the most important person at the Sun newspaper is the person who writes the headlines. And the same goes for your LinkedIn profile. If, you, if you've got a fully clear idea of what you're trying to achieve on LinkedIn, then you write it to meet that approach that you're taking. Um, so the words you use are very, very important. 